Scott. So uh, this is a, a poem I wrote about an experience that I had with my dad over in that corral over there. He was uh, 79 that year. Many people figured that his expiry date was going to come up working cows in that corral. And it nearly did this day, but we uh, pulled him through. It's called Another Day in the Shoot with Pa. He's almost 80, but he rolled just fine in front of that cow, last one in the line. The line was 100. He had prig tested them all. They moved up the chute in response to the call to get in the chute to see if they're pregnant or open. One more to go, soon done, we are hoping. 99 we had done with hardly a hitch. Then comes the last one, a cranky old bitch. When I heard him yell, I glanced up to see the cow had him down. She's down on her knees. She's blowing her nose on the front of his shirt, rubbing my paw on the cow dungy dirt. She's stamping and stomping all over his clothes, and he's still in them. How he is, I don't know. Well, I starts to yellin', and I heads to the fray. I'm over the fence before I can pray. I'm into the pen and advances real well, but the cow's still a snortin' and givin' him hell. I let out a yell and gets right in her face. She finally backs off about three pace. I grab his arm and pull him up on his wheels. We head for the fence. This here's a bad deal. Then she hits him again. I don't know just how. I'm pulling on dad and pushing the cow. Then we lean on the rails and have a short breather. And the cow comes again and we didn't tease her. With our hands on the fence, our feet on the rails. Here comes the cow up the fence. We both sail. I'm over the fence. I'm down on the ground. But pause high centered. He don't make a sound. Head, arms, chest, and shoulders on the side where I am. Legs on the other, he's still in a jam. My 80-year-old pa, he's hung by his buckle. If this weren't so tense, we'd have a good chuckle. I can't pull him straight over, he'll land on his head. I can't put him back in, the cow's still seeing red. He gets maneuvered around and swings over his feet. The cow's still a snorting and looking for meat. He puts his arm around my neck, I get him down on the ground. He catches his wind, his legs are still sound. He's covered with dung from his head to his toes. His hat's in the pen, there's dung on his nose. I'm gonna go and let out that old cow, but Dad says just wait, I'll prig test her now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Does that take two, or what? No, I, I don't think it's every day.